Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamil, and today I'm so excited to share with you my newest tool that I designed, and it's called uh, Vertical. Uh, this tool is basically a vertical calendar that shows, um, you know, the milestones of any project or goals that you are planning for this year. So this tool is more of a strategic, you know, calendar that you can use uh, for the year ahead. And there is no better time than, you know, the beginning of the year to have this tool handy, um, you know, uh, to use with your projects or your personal goals. So um, I tried my best uh, for this tool, as I always do, to simplify inputs and maximize on outputs and results. So uh, basically, the input is only just a table. And as you can see here, I have already put some data in so you can see how the tool works. So this is a project life cycle. Uh, but also, I mean, you can use this for your personal goals or for any other milestones that you are, uh, you know, you would like to be reminded when they are supposed to be done. So uh, also you have, uh, as you can see, color coded, you know, for each, um, you know, line. And um, as you can see, um, I'm using the blue color for starting a project, a green color when I, uh, when the task is done. And I choose, you know, the yellow color uh, for something in the future and hasn't been done yet. Uh, and red, I use it for those important milestones that I would like to be, you know, um, to have focus on, basically. Uh, you can change the color here in the table by this drop down list. And I limited the colors to four, but also, I mean, always we can add more depending on the case. I mean, some people may uh, would, or would like to have like eight, maybe or ten. Anyway, so uh, this is the input side of things, and as you can see here, is it is a simple input. And if you uh, go to the calendar view, you will get the calendar view of those tasks that you have put in. And uh, also, as you can see here, the colors also, you know, moved um, with, uh, you know, from the input to the calendar, uh, reflecting, uh, reflected correctly. Um, and as you can see here for January, um, and when you see the yellow bar here, this means that this is the current month. And you see the tasks sorted as they are sorted in the input. And if you change the sorting here, you will see that the sorting in the calendar will also change. And this is a, a handy tool to have. Um, okay, so um, as we uh, said, uh, you get the colors here and you get everything in a clean view uh, that you can, you know, easily look at and get the information out of. Uh, now, you can also, um, for printing maybe or for uh, your viewing, because you can use this tool for um, all the years ahead. Okay, and you can control this view. So, for example, I would like to start from the year, um, uh, not 21, but uh, 2022. And as you can see here, um, the calendar disappeared. And this is because the starting month is 12. So if we put it back to 1, we get the calendar back. So this is the starting month. And this means that the view will start at January. And then how months, how many months we would like to view you put in here. For example, I don't want two extra months that are empty. So I will just stick with maybe um, five. Just to uh, remind myself there is nothing coming in May. And um, like this, the uh, you can control um, how your calendar, um, you know, looks like and it's also help you if you'd like to print it so anyway yeah so this is um the tool i wanted to share with you guys and uh look into the description see how you can get your copy so uh if you like um this calendar please put a thumbs up so that uh, kind of tell me you know <laughs> what you guys thought of it thank you so much see you in the next video